Downtown Miami, the beautiful skyline on this 52 degree December night. And now to Pro Player Stadium, where about 70,000, including many New Englanders here for the holidays, are on hand to watch this game tonight as the Miami Dolphins wearing orange for only the second time ever come out onto the field getting ready to face Tom Brady and the New England Patriots on Monday Night Football. Great job. He's rushed for 1,309 yards, and they start with him as he cuts back, and Dillon picks up a first down and several more yards. For a couple of games now with a hamstring, they lost Junior Seau, the other linebacker, earlier this year, and Brady's first pass was caught by David. But as we say, Nick Saban is the dominant figure there, and we'll discuss that as we go along. Second down and six, Kevin Falk, the backup to Dillon, turns the corner. Everyone is very, very happy with that deal. Second down and six, and Brady floats one over the middle with fabulous touch to Falk for the touchdown. 31 yards, and the New England Patriots have now scored first in their last 19 consecutive regular season games. A few weeks, you know, who they're going to keep, who their coach is going to be. Are they going to have a new general manager? Of course, they still need another quarterback, even if they keep Fielder. Well, Fielder gets sacked, and he fumbles, and it's recovered there, leading the league in percentage of passes, thrown 10 or more yards beyond the line of scrimmage. And that is incomplete, intended for Falk, and he takes a shot. Wes Welker to run it back. And the left-footed former Steeler angles one toward the sideline. Well-placed kick, 27-yard line. And getting free is Welker, and there are no flags, and Welker is still alive. And Welker is inside the 10, cuts back, and gets tripped up at the two-yard line. So now Sammy Morris is the back here. A.J. Feely will give it to him, and he dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Undrafted rookie out of LSU, but seeing a lot of playing time because of all of the injuries. And here comes the blitz, and down goes Feely. So New England with one of those jail book break blitzes. First and 10 from the 41-yard line. Brady under pressure, and he gets sacked. It's Jason Taylor coming around the corner, grabbing him and planting him. Has his team going to another bowl. Second down and 10 here as Feely throws over the middle and sandwich was Randy McMichael. Takes over at midfield. The game tied 7-7. And Tom Brady hands the ball off to Dillon on the stretch play. Comes out, comes into the NFL and becomes a starting guard. On a world championship team as Patrick Pass carries guard and center play in the NFL. There's the offensive breakdown. The key player, of course, for the Dolphins was the 71-yard punt return by. Gibbons would be their leading receiver with 52. In these situations, you've got those two defenders in, Seymour and Vrabel, and you've got Dillon and just the way he angles himself. Second down to seven minutes left in the half. Brady, draw, Dillon almost untouched. Touchdown to England. There's a guy that didn't have to worry about third down. Dan Marino in the shadows, looking on. Feely rolling and stopping and then firing underneath, and he gets the first down here is Brian Gilmore. They have 19 total yards. Good play fake. That buys a lot of time. Fires it over the middle. Last year against the Washington Redskins. Pass is swung to the outside, and that'll be a first down. And then John talked to Terrell Owens, and we'll have that report coming up on the third of halftime show. Third down and five, and the pass is incomplete. Of the National Football League. Leave it to Belichick. Mari with a 30-yard field goal that is good. The Dolphins keep those two safeties deep, and it's very difficult to throw the ball on. That one wasn't deflected. He just had the pressure put on, as he does here. And he's going to launch it deep downfield into double coverage, and it is intercepted at the 20-yard line by Sammy Knight. And Knight was contacted at that spot. Because of the two safeties. Knight's third pick. Miami has all of its timeouts. Feely on the run. Throws. Caught, but out of bounds. Yes, no, inbounds, and then out of bounds is Chris Chambers, and then falls out of bounds. Ball at the 32-yard line. Feely flushed out again. Throws. Caught. Morris is free. And then he gets around Troy Brown. I think you have to run him out of it. I think you have an advantage. 
with your big guys against their linebacker. Third and ten, and that is caught out in the flat, and Morris gets taken down at the 49 by Roman Pfeiffer. He's afraid to overcommit to the run because Brady is too good throwing, Al. Well, they won't overcommit here because this is McMichael making the catch at the 45-yard line, and Willie McGinnis makes the tackle, and there's a flag at the end of We found something there. Unnecessary roughness, sparing number 37, defense. The third quarter starts for Bill Belichick, 40-yard line. They're going to run a reverse here, and then they're going to drop the ball as Marty Booker drops it, and New England recovers it. Blitz, Brady steps up, fires, strike. From the 27-yard line, and Dillon goes through the middle. It's tough to throw in the middle and tough to throw deep. First and 10. And that's picked off at the 10-yard line by Sammy Knight, his second of the game. And then New England tries to strip it, but it goes out of bounds. Good play by the Patriots. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 72, New England. Second and a deuce from the 35-yard line. Minor. Third and five now. Under pressure, Feely gets it away. Halfway through the third quarter, New England up by four. Blitz again. All kinds of pressure, but he gets it away for a first down as the catch is made. Travis Minor is the running back. He'll get it on first and goal. Gets upended and scores. Head linesman comes in, signals touchdown, and Miami has the lead. Very much so, and he's proven that, of course, on the biggest stage of all in two Super Bowls. Second down and eight from the 31-yard line. Brady swings it outside, caught by their 13-1. New England would go to 13-1. San Diego's clinched the West there in the playoffs, and Indianapolis... Michael Vick in this league. Third and one with Vrabel and Seymour both in the game offensively. And now Brady goes to the outside. And Daniel Graham with a flag thrown at the end. Personal foul. Grabbing and pulling the face mask. Number 52. Defense. First down from the 25-yard line. It's Dillon. Started one way goes the other. Per usual in and short yardage. Third down and goal. Fake to Dillon. Look at that time for Brady. Swings it to the outside and finds Dillon. Touchdown. From the nine-yard line, first down for the Patriots. Brady goes to work. Guns it to Branch. He loves Branch. And you have half that you have to give to Notre Dame. So there's only one hole, and you start splitting up, and there's, there are too many things going on. They call the play for Dillon here, and he's going to come up short of the first down, so it'll be to bring back the glory. But in all of the major North American team sports, second and six. That's exactly what he's gained tonight in 24 carries, 100 yards for him. On third and four, it is caught by Dion Branch over the middle. And his toughness. Second down and seven from the 45. And that's Kevin Falk who gets free. Good job of pass protection. He used to getting double teamed. Dillon through the hole, runs into the official, and that's the only reason he doesn't get into the end zone. But he follows Seymour. Fake to Patrick Pass, and then the throw. Caught. Tight end, Daniel Graham. Touchdown, Patriots. I bet Dillon follows Seymour and Tom Brady fakes to him and throws the ball. Remaining in the fourth quarter, and A.J. Feely trying to lead this drive from the 32-yard line, throws underneath to Sammy Morris. Well, you wonder, I mean, a, a lot of times you don't want to stay. Four defensive backs. Second and six, and they give it to Morris, and New England not expecting a run. Where this whole thing catches up with the Dolphins, you know, new quarterback, different system, coaches. Only a three-man rush, but enough to put a lot of heat on Feely. And then the pass is incomplete, but Chambers gets interfered with in the end zone. You see, Chris Chambers is number 84, number right here. You see, he is he is open there in that, in that back line. First and goal. 
from the one. And Sammy Morris will try to knife his way in and does. Touchdown Miami. To make it a three-point game. Down by five. There's some chambers in motion. And Feely throws, and it's too high. If they stop, they can take a timeout, and they'll still have one timeout remaining on offense, which is what that short one back did to New England. Brady, he's going to get sacked, and he's going to just throw it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Brendan Ian Badejo is intercepting the pass as Brady is going down. I mean, that's something that, you know, you know, Tom Brady is so cool and so smart. And then you get into this, and this is something you can't do. He didn't have to do it. And Feely to the end zone, and it's incomplete. And no matter how good you are and how bad they are, I remember when I was coaching, the San Diego Chargers were bad, but they always gave us a tough game. They always matched up well against us, and Miami is one of those teams that, that matches up well against what the New England Patriots do. But I would go right back on Earth with Moreland again because Jim Bates was right. That should have been interference. And if not, I think you can get a touchdown on it. Fourth down and ten. Feely throwing to the end zone again. And it is caught by Darius Thompson for the touchdown. Darius Thompson covered by Troy Brown. Bates says let's go for two. And for the first time this season, this crowd has something to really cheer about. Darius Thompson is now the inside receiver. Troy Brown, number 80, is going to be the defender. He is playing them deep and off to the inside. That was a bad angle. Feely instead looks over the middle, gets hit as he throws, and it's knocked down in the end zone from the 24. We talked about Brady not having a lot of comfort behind wins because he's rarely behind. But here's an opportunity tonight. And Brady has to spin away and then he gets taken down at the 15. David Bowens finishes him off. And it's second down and 19. This is where this guy is really tough in these situations. Light stays in the block and Brady gets the pass off under pressure and it's intercepted again. Arturo Freeman to cement the ball game. Look at this Miami Dolphin team. Did you say when a team's out of it, it's a meaningless game? Tell those guys in the orange jerseys this is a meaningless game. So the Miami Dolphins beat the Patriots 29-28 on Monday Night Football.